Anyone who's ever had kidney stones will tell you how excruciating the pain can be. Dr. Charles Streit of St. Jude Medical Center in Fullerton explains how these stones form and why they cause such extreme pain. A kidney stone is uh, some crystals that form up in the kidney. Uh, they're much like an icicle. One molecule compounds on another molecule and before you know it, uh, you've gone from a snowball to a large snowball to a larger snowball, it's, except it's made of calcium and oxalate most commonly. It's often asked, uh, why do kidney stones hurt? And a uh, common uh, discussion is that uh, kidney stones hurt when they move. In actual fact, that's not the case. Uh, what happens is that uh, kidney stones pain comes about when the uh, urinary system becomes plugged up. For example, if you drop a marble down a funnel and the marble comes to the narrow spot, it's going to plug that system up. Now up above you have a kidney that has to make urine. The, the kidney can't shut off, it has to make urine. And so now you have a pressure cooker situation. Kidney is forcing urine into this confined system. Uh, the system stretches and that's what gives you your pain. It's very much like gas pain. Uh, the stretching mechanism is what gives you the pain. Uh, so a couple of things that I think about when I'm uh, talking to the patient about the stone is one is how large it is and secondly where is it? If a stone's up in the kidney uh, you would treat it differently than if you had a stone say down at the lower end of the drainage tube called the ureter as it approaches the bladder. So uh, size and location uh, will make a difference. One other important factor uh, as the condition of the patient. If you have a lady who's pregnant, you certainly will treat her differently than you would treat a 45-year-old man with the very same condition. The one treatment that's most commonly recognized by the public is shockwave lithotripsy. And this is a treatment procedure where the patient lays on a table and shock waves are actually shot at the, at the kidney stone. Uh, if the stone's in the lower end of the ureter, well, then you approach that from below. You go up through the bladder. We have scopes that can actually go up the tube called the ureter. I refer to it as going up the downspout. And here we can visualize the stone. And then once the stone is visualized, we take a holmium laser and we uh, break the stone up. For a stone that's extremely large, that's lodged up in the kidney, and, and again, mass is important, uh, we'll actually go through the skin, uh, through the back, uh, make a hole that's large enough to put a scope in, or we can put another miniature jackhammer in, and those extremely large stones, well, then we can break those up um, using that fashion. I've had kidney stones. I had my first one in the middle of the Pacific Ocean when I was in the Navy. And through the years, the thing that I've uh, talked to my patients about is what I do, and that's ingesting a lot of water. But here's my measure. Here's my barometer. I tell the patient yellow urine is bad. And the reason for it is that yellow urine is concentrated. And what you want to do is you want to get clear urine so that you know that the urine's not as concentrated. So hydration is the bottom line. You can change diets, uh, but people don't change diets. You're, 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 the only thing that you can change is getting people to drink more fluid. And the rest will take care of itself.